Figured I'd say uh, goodbye to the mower. Uh, gonna sell it this week. Buyer's gonna pick it up. I uh, backlapped it for him. So cleaned it up, uh, sprayed it. The rust protection and everything for him. The blades are super sharp. Cutting paper really well. It's ready to go. Figure this is my farewell video for the uh, McLean. And uh, looking forward to see what I'm gonna get next. There's a Toro GM 1600 in Rhode Island that I had talked to a guy. 2008 model that he's trying to sell i'm interested in that may get that off of him and have it shipped by lto but uh yeah just wanted to record last video with the mower before it leaves me served me well this year good job meglay farewell and i hope you do well with your new owner All right, so I wasn't able to get much video on after placing down the double dark in the last video. So I'm just basically showing some photos here of how the grass had greened up. Looks fairly nice. Um, you can see there's a little bit uneven distribution throughout the lawn, but overall color came out great. And then um, I wasn't able to mow because I sold the McLean, so the grass is a bit longer in these photos. But I did manage to get the uh, Toro GM that I had mentioned <clears throat> from the guy in Rhode Island. So photos here of it being shipped to me and me picking it up at the uh, Fastenal uh, Distribution Center. <clears throat> and pictures of it uh, here on my lawn. And a few photos of me cutting it, uh, showing what it looks like uh, cutting it here. I was mowing it at, I believe, 5 eighths inch in these photos here. But yep, stay tuned guys. Uh, I'll have videos of me actually mowing it. And you guys should enjoy the videos. Good morning guys. It is September 30th, 2023. And it's been a while since I made an update video. Been running out of space on the camera. Been trying to clean up stuff, files and so I can produce more updates. Uh, but I've been able to at least uh, at least get one in and I'm gonna do one today. Uh, I can't even remember what I uh, up, po uh, posted last time, but um, this is the last day of the season, man. Last day of the month. Um, Come to a close for the 2023 season. As you guys can see, how the lawn's looking. I'm pretty sure I updated you guys last time with, I got the new Toro GM 1600 as a as my real mower. Decided to go with Green's mower. You know, stick to something that's true and works that we know produces results. And I gotta say, the 11 blade reel that I got, it's like day and night with them uh, versus the McLean way 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 better you guys can see where how the cut looks looks really really good to me edging looks really good bought a new blade for the stick edger ryobi stick edger and i also ordered a uh, idea tech uh, uh adiac uh power rotary scissors got those at a group buy discount on facebook those are coming in so i'm gonna have a new toy for the lawn as well but the sad part about it is it's coming to a close we're probably not gonna get much hot weather any longer temperatures this past week have been 80 90s um yeah, probably like 95 or so and i checked the soil temps and they're still at 105 which is a good thing you know helps helps the bermuda but uh, I think this upcoming week, we're gonna drop down into like the 80s and the 70s in the evening, 60s. So it's only a matter of time that the lawn's gonna start going into dormancy. Uh, I plan to lay my last furt uh, 
this weekend. Today is Saturday, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. And it's supposed to rain on Wednesday. We got some big rain coming in on Wednesday. So I bought two more bags of Carbon Pro G and I want to just use up the rest of my uh, fertilizer that I got left. I still got Humic Max, 15 pounds. I'm gonna lay that at three pounds per thousand. So I'm gonna cover up to 5,000 square foot. I can probably get all this right here. This will equate to 6,000, so I can't get, I still have a leftover of a flagship 2406. I got five pounds left of that, so I can throw that over here. Get at least three pounds per thousand on Nova on that side. So yeah, I think I have enough fur to finish out the season. It'll be a, it'll be the last, the last run at it. And then temperatures are gonna drop. Like I said, uh, in October, they're gonna, I've already checked the forecast for the month and it's gonna be around 80s, uh, 70s in the evening, 60s. I'm gonna lay my pre-emergent pretty soon. I need to go pick up spec flow, lay that down, get it ready. But yeah, man, that Toro GM, dude. I have no regrets getting that. I mean, I, I was sad for selling the McLean, but once I got the Toro GM and I cut it first day, boy, I was like, man, I made the right decision. Let's show a little bit of edging here. Those crispy edges. Wait until I get the power rotary scissors. It's going to look even better. But, yep. I got to say, I think I've transformed this lawn to something never before. I mean, if you guys have been watching my videos in the beginning of the season, starting April, it looked nothing like this at all. And it, it definitely took a transformation. Still watering it. I, I haven't uh, turned on my sprinklers in this zone yet. So I've been hand watering it and I've reduced my watering schedule now to just uh, twice a week, give it an inch like it normally should get. Uh, we don't have any more hot weather, like scorching heat, trying to burn up the grass stuff anymore. So back to the watering schedule, just doing it twice a week. And a few things that popped up in the lawn that I have never came across before. Uh, turned out I had some Bermuda mites, which is something I've never dealt with before. And it basically just looked like the lawn has some kind of disease, but I did some extensive research and kind of looked into it to, to figure out what exactly it looked like. Uh, it's like witch's broom type of grass where like the tips kind of look like they've been eaten by some bugs or something. So uh, there was a lot of recommendations for different stuff. I think abamectin was one, movento. And then I got recommended Delta Guard G, which is Um I spread that out. I bought that and I spread that out, I think uh, maybe two weeks ago or so, granules. And the, it comes in a 20 pound bag. And I, uh, I, it, it's set to run at two pounds per thousand. So I, I did like, I did a 5,000 coverage, square foot coverage. I ran it here and those these areas. This this side didn't really have any effect on the mites, but um, looks like it's doing its job. Um, after I want to say like two weeks now, over two weeks. Let me show you a problem area that I was dealing with the whole the whole season. So this area right here, you can see. It's green, but underneath it, it's actually like dead. And some of this is uh, Bermuda mites. They were eating basically, I see that there's a dead one right there. Let me show you if I can find a part of, I mean, you, I, I can tell it's been improved because I can't really find any of the, 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 uh, the, the areas. Here's one. So you look at that right there. Get close up. See that it looks like a they call it witch's broom. Yeah, that's eaten by mites. 
and I was told that you wouldn't see that very uh, very much if you had hybrid Bermuda but in my case I've got common Bermuda this uh, this yard wasn't sodded uh, when the house was built it was seeded uh, with hydro seed and they call it hydro mulch that's what the builder called it but I think it's called hydro seed and with hydro seed you're gonna get common Bermuda grass that's basically it you're not gonna be able to, I mean I don't think you'd be able to get hybrid. Hybrid doesn't hybrid doesn't seed. It's common from what I've learned. So uh, this yard is essentially all common Bermuda, and there are limitations to it. Can't get the stripes that I want sometimes. I've seen others do with their hybrid Bermuda, and just gotta live with it. Unless I plan on changing it in the future, just kill this all off and do something else. But. As for now, my whole goal for this season was to transform the lawn to a golf course looking lawn. And I think I've accomplished it. Things are looking great. I'm happy. Next year I'm gonna, I've got plans to do another top dressing leveling again with sand, make it a bit more smooth. And then uh, I'm going to continue this to mow. And then, yeah, I'll just keep on doing what I've been doing this season and do it next season. May change up the FERT, FERT program, may use some different products. Uh, I guess one other goal I probably will have for next year is to get the, the uh, grass dark green. I haven't been able to do that this year. I got semi dark green, but not completely. So maybe the darker grass will help me get some uh, some stripes but we'll have to see but yeah that's my update guys um, like I said I'll be applying my last fertil fertilization in a few days and I'm gonna shut it down bought some turf plex I, don't, I think I mentioned that in the last video I bought some turf plex to go with the Nutrizolve that I've been applying by by monthly and uh, yeah, I'll be looking at some other spoon feeding programs uh, next year to see what else I can do for the lawn. But that's me. That's it. Signing out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed everything. Uh, I probably will make another video. This won't be the last one for the season, but I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I've done um, through this journey of transforming this lawn to something never before. Nice golf course looking lawn. I think I think I've gotten there somewhat in a way and then if you guys enjoy what's been going on just like and subscribe and i'll tr try to keep posting better content keep you guys entertained appreciate you guys watching peace out